Hey, I'm TJ and welcome to my channel where I'm going to be sharing with you technical insights and coding tutorials to help you on your coding journey. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick JavaScript tutorial by showing you a clip of a tutorial session that I have with one of the students in my Roots Technology Coding and Career Prep program. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how hoisting works in JavaScript and I'm also going to be giving you three key takeaways to help you to better understand hoisting and to avoid the issues that hoisting may cause. So definitely make sure that you stick around and watch the video all the way to the end for those three key points. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video and make sure you comment below along the way if you have any questions or comment below just to let me know if you found this tutorial helpful. All right, so anytime that you write code, the general assumption is that the code is gonna be executing from the top all the way down. That the code is gonna start at the very top line and execute line by line until it gets to the bottom. So just for example, if I was to write this code, the first assumption is that this code is first gonna execute by first declaring my variable uh, var, my name, and then going to the second line to assign that variable a value, and then logging into the console, right? So if I hit run, boom, it shows TJ in the console. This code also works the same way if I was to do this. If I just set this variable like this, if I just declare the variable and initialize it or set it equal to TJ right here. So if I hit clear and I hit run, boom, TJ. So the thought is that the code first starts to execute from this line because this is the top of the line of the code and then it executes this line. But what if I was to switch things around? What if I did this? What if I put this console log here? Like what if I attempt to use this variable, my name, before I even create it in the code? What do you think is gonna happen? Is the code gonna show TJ? Here, let me hit run and let's see. It shows undefined. So instead of throwing an error, right, which JavaScript should throw an error. Instead of throwing an error, JavaScript returns undefined. So this is pretty much failing silently because the code doesn't blow up and let me know that I'm doing something incorrect by trying to use a variable before it's even been defined and assigned a value. And the reason why this is working this way is because JavaScript is letting you use a variable before it's actually been defined and declared in the code. And this is a result of hoisting. Hoisting lets you use variables before they've even been declared in your code. And hoisting is just simply how JavaScript moves var declarations to the very top of the code before you've actually declared it in your own code and assigned a value to it. So key note, JavaScript does not hoist initializations or assignments, right? So, you know, when you do like my name equals TJ, this is an initialization. This is you initializing that variable by assigning it a value. So just think of initializing as, as the same thing as assigning. So hoisting does not move up assignments or initialization hoisting only moves up declarations so that means that hoisting is taking this and moving it all the way all the way to the top of the code base and giving it a value of undefined that variable does not become defined until i actually define it in my code so here let's just kind of walk let's walk through this again so this is a variable declaration. This is me declaring a variable. Whenever I use the equal sign to actually assign a value to it, this is called an initialization. So initialization occurs when you assign a value to a variable. But you can also do all of this in one step by just doing this, by declaring and initializing in one line. But in the background, this is what JavaScript does as a result of hoisting. JavaScript sees this, it sees this, and it basically does this. It first grabs the declaration and moves that to the very top of the code base. 
And then it gets to where you actually assign the value to it. So JavaScript turns this into this because hoisting in JavaScript is how JavaScript takes variable declarations, right? You declaring a variable, it takes that variable declaration and it moves it to the top of the code base with a value of undefined. And that variable doesn't get assigned a value until it actually gets to the point of your code where you are assigning the value to it. And this can lead to a lot of buggy errors because you should not be attempting to use variables before they've even been assigned a value. Like that's just an error, right? So that's why this is an issue in JavaScript. And one thing to keep in mind, JavaScript only does this for var declarations. It doesn't do this for lets, doesn't do this for const, etc. It only does it for variables declared with the var keyword. So the best way to combat this behavior is to just simply always declare and initialize your variables at the top of the scope or at the top of your code base. Um, if you have a function that you're using, just define it all at the top, at the top of the logic inside of the function. Okay. And do not, <laughs> do not try to use variables in your code before you've assigned them a value in the code as well. So those are all ways that you can really prevent yourself from dealing with this issue of hoisting. And another way is to not use var, because remember, hoisting only impacts variables declared with the var keyword. So if you declare a variable using let or const, this doesn't occur. Because remember, there are three ways to declare a variable in JavaScript by using the var keyword, the let keyword, or the const keyword. And when it comes to hoisting, JavaScript only hoists var declarations by taking those declarations, moving them to the top of the code, and initializing them with the value of undefined. When it comes to the let and const keywords, JavaScript will still hoist them, but it does not initialize them with the value of undefined. Like all it simply does is move let and const uh, variable declarations to, to the top, but it doesn't assign a value of undefined. So if you try to call that code before assigning a value to it, it's going to throw an error, which is exactly what you want, because that is letting you know that you have an error in the code that you need to fix. So that's why it is a lot better to, to use let and const versus var when it comes to declaring your variables. All right, so let me just show you a quick demonstration of this in terms of how hoisting affects let variables versus var variables. I'm going to just be using the console to write this. Uh, there's a slight, there's a slight issue with JSBin and not showing the appropriate errors. But in terms of how hoisting affects variables declared with let, let me just kind of show you. Let's say that I try to console log my name. And I'm going to declare that variable after it like this. So if this was a var, JavaScript would take this and hoist it to the top and set the value equal to undefined, right? That's why if I do console log of it, then it was returning undefined because the assignment, you know, where I'm actually assigning a value to it is after where I'm logging into the console. But with let, remember, JavaScript will still hoist let declarations in terms of moving the declaration to the top, but it doesn't assign a value of undefined to it, right? It doesn't initialize the value. So when it comes to let and const variables, like variables de uh, declared using the let and const keyword, JavaScript will hoist the declarations to the top but it doesn't initialize them with the value of undefined. It just leaves them without a value. So if I try to run this code, what do you think is gonna happen, right? Because I am trying to call my name before it's even been defined and assign a value in the code. Like I'm essentially trying to use it in my code before it's been assigned a value. So if I hit enter, you see that? Cannot access my name before initialization. That means that I am trying to call this 
before it's even been initialized and assigned a value. So remember, on the back end, JavaScript is taking this and turning it into this. It basically does this. My name. This is what JavaScript is doing. Oops. Except the main difference is here, it does not assign the initial value to be undefined. So anytime that you have a var, JavaScript will actually hoist var declarations to the top and set their initial values to undefined. So this is what is happening in the background whenever you are, you are declaring variables with the var declarations. JavaScript is grabbing those declarations, moving them to the top, and setting their value equal to undefined until it gets to the line in your code where you actually assign the value to it. So one thing to note is that JavaScript doesn't physically move your code to the top of the scope. Like that's not really what's happening. That's just a way to explain it, to just make it a lot easier to actually explain. What is actually happening with JavaScript is that before your code executes, JavaScript first scans your code for all of the functions and variables, and it grabs all of those and puts them in memory, and then it executes the code. So that's why you are pretty much able to try to use a variable before it's been declared in the code because JavaScript already snatched up all of the variables that you created in your code, and it added those into memory and then it's trying to execute the code with all that information in memory already. So that is what's happening when it comes to hoisting. Like hoisting, come on, JavaScript doesn't actually physically move the code. It just takes all the variable declarations and functions and puts them into memory right before executing the code. So that's why this behavior occurs like this. So hopefully this has helped you to better understand hoisting. Uh, remember, these are the three key things about hoisting that you kind of really need to know. JavaScript will grab variables declared with the var keyword and hoist them to the top by grabbing the variable declaration, moving it to the top of the code scope and assigning a value of undefined to it. And this only occurs for variables defined with the var keyword. When it comes to variables defined with let or const, JavaScript will hoist the variable declaration to the top, but it does not assign a value of undefined to it. It doesn't assign a value of undefined. It only assigns a value of undefined to variables declared with the var keyword. And that's what causes the buggy behavior. And that's also point <laughs> number two, that JavaScript will grab let declarations and const declarations and functions and move them to the top of the scope, but not assign a value of undefined to them, which lets the code work correctly by throwing an error if you try to use those values before it gets to the point in the code where they've actually been assigned a value. And third, to avoid all this mess with hoisting, just use lets and const uh, instead of using vars uh, and define and declare, right? Like declare all of your variables and assign them a value at the top of the code scope before trying to use them. So pretty much don't try to use your variables or functions before you've actually defined them in the code.